Now that Fidelity is opening a Bitcoin and ETH trading, should I be comfortable having them hold my keys just like they custody my retirement portfolio? Brilliant, brilliant question. And very, very good to be paranoid. So congratulations. First of all, a huge part of crypto is self-custody, not your keys, not your coins. But some do find it tricky and some people don't trust themselves, especially if it's a large amount of assets. So they do put them into custody. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, next, Fidelity have a five-star rating. Uh, you can see I actually use uh, Fidelity and TD Ameritrade. They're the top two here. I know a lot of people are very happy with interactive brokers and Charles Schwab, etc. But you can see it's five stars all across the board, pretty much with the exception of offering of investments. And that's all about to change with Ethereum and Bitcoin too. So maybe they'll go to five stars there. In addition, a quick summary on this one, but they are as solid as they come in my opinion. Fidelity is the third largest asset manager on earth with 4.3 trillion in assets under management. Only third to Vanguard, number two, 8 trillion, and BlackRock, just shy of 10 trillion. And BlackRock were 11 trillion, uh, over 11 trillion, not too long ago. They've also been around for 70 years. Uh, they are known for a very strong financial performance, and it's considered to be a safe and reliable investment choice for many. But think about it. If they messed up with anybody's crypto custody, there'd be a bank run worth about $4 trillion happening instantaneously. So I'm supremely confident as you can be with those guys. And I, I know that people say, oh, not your keys, not your coins. Well, I'm just making the case. If you have to custody with somebody, it doesn't get much better than Fidelity.